I'm Amanda Branston from Lavinia Stamps. Welcome to Mandy's Makes. Today we're going to look at this lovely autumnal scene with Siren. So without further ado, let's get on with it. I've got some watercolour card here and it's 15 centimetres square. Now to get the circle I like, the size I want, I'm going to use an old pot. Now don't be afraid to use what you've got in your craft room or around the house. If it fits your project, use it. So I'm just drawing a faint line all the way around with a pencil. Now to get this background in place, I'm going to wet just inside the circle. Just paint fresh water all the way around. This Primes card's ready to accept ink because we're going to do a wet in wet technique. Let's get some tissue. Right, so I'm going to use russet orange and truffle. Beautiful colours together. There we go, that's those colours blended. I've dried that now, so it's ready for stamping. Let's start with Siren. I'm using Pinecone Versifying Clair Permanent Ink. This is on watercolour card, so make sure you hold your image on to let that paper absorb the ink. I'm going to touch up Siren. This, this paper is slightly textured. So it is likely you're going to get a dappled effect. But don't worry, it's what your pens are for. And this is number 65, mid-brown. Matches this colour beautifully. Small stamps. I've got a range of little stamps here. This is the mushroom from the lamp set. Pop a couple of those on, a couple of the smaller ones, just to set the floor. I'm going to use a couple of the fairy orbs. This is the smaller one. This is mini leaf number five, the maple leaf. It's fabulous for wreath building, like a lot of these mini stamps. And this one is mini leaf number one. Now that's dry, I'm going to add some quickie glue and some glamour metallic gilding flakes just to add to the richness of the picture. That should be plenty. Let me dry that off. Just to speed along the glue process. We don't want it wet when we add the metallic flake. That's where people go wrong. They don't leave it long enough or dry it thorough enough. And the flakes. How beautiful are the colours in this? I'm just going to use my brush, collect up the spare, put it back in the pot so it doesn't go to waste. So this brush acts to get off the excess and to polish and buff those metallic flakes. To finish my card off, I cut the edges and this all I simply did was found the center put a pencil mark and again both sides and then drew a line across 
three and a half centimeters each way of that center line and then once i chop that out it to come and give me this shape i hope you enjoyed that do give it a go let me know how you get on thank you so very much for joining me today i hope you can join me again sometime take care now bye bye